Hey everyone, TechNoVinger here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix iPhone keyboard lagging after the iOS 18 update or any update that you recently have done. You're going to follow these steps to fix that lag on the keyboard. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do for having this issue is deleting and re adding the keyboard. So, in order to do that, go into your setting on your iPhone and then you're going to go down to General and then you're going to find your keyboard here. As you see up top here, I have two keyboards generally it's one of your languages and the emoji keyboard what you want to do is delete them and re-add them so I'll delete the emoji one for example and go ahead and add it again so emoji I'll add that again English this one as you can see you can't really remove it so you'll have to add another language as an example to re remove it right and then what you're going to do is add that keyboard back that your primary one and then you're going to delete the other one that way it's back to the normal keyboard that I had and that will allow me to kind of resync or sort of reinitialize those keyboards that I have and now I'm going to go ahead and check to see if there's any lag and hopefully after doing that there's no lag now that's going to be one method to now the next thing you want to do is reset the keyboard dictionary so for this one you're going to go from the main settings and then you're going to go to general and scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone click on that and then click on the reset and then you're going to reset the actual keyboard dictionary right here this will not delete any of your data it will basically delete any custom keyboards you have typed in returning it to factory default again a necessary thing to do if you're experiencing uh, lagging on your keyboard you just tap on it done just like that again will not delete any of your photos videos apps and such on your phone now the next thing to do if you still feel having lag issue is in your settings go to general and then go back to the keyboard setting you're going to want to go ahead and turn these off and check if the lag is fixed first is going to be auto correction next is going to be your predictive text and then once you have done those you should see improvement on it as well after you have done those so go ahead and try those two settings turn it off and then check it out you can do combination of it and eventually once your keyboard is fixed you can come back and turn these settings back off and the reason why we do this is because when you upgrade to it there's a lot of a uh, lot of things happening on the phone and those things can actually cause the keyboard to go ahead and hit performance and cause lag again this more of a bug sort of thing to do so just turn it off and then turn it back on later once it's been fixed usually it's in a couple days now after you have done that the next thing to do if you're still experiencing is not using any third-party keyboard there are keyboard like Gboard and all these other ones that you can download from it if you have downloaded one of them I would re recommend is removing it depending on you can press and hold remove app delete it so it's gone and then delete it from the settings itself you don't want any third-party apps interfering with your main keyboard now after you have done that it's time to follow this step which you're going to quickly press and release the volume up quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears so I'll do volume up volume down very quick and then I hold on to the side button just like that and we're gonna wait for the Apple logo to appear once the screen goes completely black while holding on to that side button just like that you're gonna keep on holding it and wait for that Apple logo to appear and let go this is known as a force restart basically shuts down the phone software reloads the code this will not delete any of your data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your iPhone so you don't have to worry about anything getting deleted it's a nice way to increase the performance of your phone so after you have done that you should be back to normal here now if you're still experiencing this issue the last thing to do is checking if Apple has pushed a new update to fix any bug fixes so in order to do that go into your setting and then go to general software update and check if there's update available if there is of course go ahead and update it as you can see here I have 18.2 update available and sometimes there's bug fixes from a previous update Apple addresses it so you can read through it and update it and hopefully after doing all these troubleshooting steps your keyboard is no longer lagging and if this video is helpful please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices we'll see you guys next time